Perfect. All right. We are ready to rock. Um, good, man. So everybody, your family's, uh, everybody's all good. You all hanging in there all right? Yeah, everybody's safe and sound. Everybody's healthy. Good. All right. We'll jump right into this. Um, first of all, congratulations on, on being drafted. What was that moment like for you when you got that phone call from the Redskins? It was an unbelievable experience. I mean, it was a dream come true. I had my closest friends and family around me, and, you know, it was just – it was instinctual. I just grabbed the phone right when it rang. Uh, Coach Rivera was on the phone, and, you know, I answered, and he told me they were going to take me with their ne next pick. And, I mean, it was just a whirlwind of emotions. I was excited. I was happy. Man, I was just overwhelmed. And as far as – I saw the video of you when you got drafted, the, the, all the emotions coming out. What was it like to have your family there – surrounding you i know you touched on it a bit but i mean how how important was it to have all your loved ones with you at that moment extremely important i mean those are the people that have supported me through my journey since i was a kid um you know they've been there in my corner pushing me uh supporting me guiding me so it was extremely important for me to have them there i saw my best friends in the entire world there with me as well and you know it wasn't just my moment it was everybody's moment you know we all we're there celebrating, you know, it was all an accomplishment. And, you know, they say it takes a village to raise a child. And, you know, I'm grateful for those people that are in my corner that continue to support me and, um, you know, wish me the best. As far as the fit goes, what do you think about the Redskins that you know about them? And how do you feel about going there? I'm excited. I'm excited to go get to work. I'm excited to play under Coach Rivera. The staff is great. Uh, the fan base has already been amazing, you know, just an outpour of support, out, output of support. Um, you know, they're very passionate about their team out in D.C. And so, you know, just like the, the fans here in San Diego, you know, the Aztec Nation, um, same thing. And so I'm excited to be out there. I think it's going to be a great fit. Uh, it's going to be an unbelievable experience. I'm ready to go, go to work and compete. You talked about it a little bit with the fans out here in San Diego. When you look back at your time on the Mesa and all the fans and the games and everything, what are you going to remember most? And how much did San Diego State help, you know, push you to, to where you are now? I think I'm just going to remember all the, the relationships that I made, um, lifelong relationships, um, the brotherhood I was a part of, so many great players that came through the program, guys that I, you know, developed and grew up with over the last four years. Uh, those are things I'm really going to remember, those experiences, those memories. Um, you know, along with, you know, numerous amount of memorable games and seasons, you know, we were really successful. I'm, I'm glad I could be a part of one of the, you know, best eras in San Diego State football history. Um, lots of wins, uh, lots of yardage on the ground. You know, we loaded on the ball, lots of good backs, you know, just overall great players, amazing staff, a staff that pushed, you know, me, um, pushed my teammates to just be the best players we could be. Um, Coach Long. You know, Coach Hall, our strength and conditioning coach, um, my offensive line coach, Coach Schmidt, and everyone in between um, that helped push us to be our best selves on and off the field. Uh, you know, they do such a good job over there, and I know Coach Hope is going to continue that legacy and that culture and continue, um, you know, putting Aztec football on top. Have you been able to take a second for yourself and kind of take a step back and, and have a deep breath and realize that you fulfilled a lifelong dream? And if you have, just kind of what was that realization like for you? Uh, I think right after, you know, I, I kind of stood outside. Or I went outside for a second and just took a breath. Um, it, was, it was just a really good moment. You know, God was shining down on me and my family. And, but it was a quick moment. You know, I, I had to get right to work. I was getting calls from, you know, the, my new coaches and my new staff that I'm going to be a part of. You know, I'm, I've already been studying my playbook. We started meetings, position meetings, and we have to be on Zoom, obviously, because of the virus and everything that's happening. Can't be in the facility getting to work, but you know, I'm already working. I'm already working to get better. I'm already working to further my game um, in training, you know, in the books, just further my knowledge and my ability so that I'm ready to, you know, compete. Um, come August and you know that I can go make my impact this next season. Have you reached out to any fellow friends or former Aztecs or maybe somebody from the Redskins uh, with NFL experience and, and talk with them and, and if so kind of what have been those conversations like or any advice? No doubt I mean all you know we have we have a, a good amount of Aztecs in the league. Um, I've looked close with a lot of them you know Rashad Penny, um, Ryan Poe, Nico Saragusa, all those guys, DJ, you know, I, I, they've all wished me congratulations. Yeah, I've talked to a lot of them. And they've, they've always been in my corner, um, helping me, guiding me. 
through this process because you know they saw something in me early in my career they believed in me um, and they supported me and they taught me you know what I needed to do to be successful and achieve this goal which is to play in the NFL and so now that I'm here you know now it's all about getting to work um, some of the guys from the Redskins have already reached out to me uh, we've talked on the phone I talked to Morgan Moses for about like 20 or 30 minutes you know a week or two ago and he was just you know, giving me advice, just getting me ready, um, helping me understand the transition that I'm about to go through, especially as a rookie, and going all the way across country. You know, I was born and raised in uh, Oakland, California, San Francisco Bay Area, and then I went to school in San Diego, so I'm a Cali kid through and through. have never left, and so this will be really the first time that, uh, you know, I'm really leaving, you know, home and going to a brand new environment, but I'm ready, you know. I have to be I'm excited to get to work, and this is, you know, everything I've been working for for, you know, countless years, you know, countless days, countless hours I put in for this. I think there's so many young kids that that play football that want to grow up and get to the NFL and have those dreams that you just accomplished. What would be your message to maybe a young kid saying that they want to play in the NFL? You know, how, what would you say to them? Just don't give up, and be ready to sacrifice. Um, you got to put the work in to get the results. It's not just going to be handed to you. It's not going to be handed to anybody. You know, that's not how life works. You have to be fully dedicated, fully invested to everything you're doing. You know, each day has to be a day of work. Each day you have to go out and win that day. You have to beat yourself because you're so, you are your biggest enemy. You know, you're the only person standing in the way of achieving your goals. And if you can get over that, if you can push through the adversity, push through the hard times, it's only going to make you stronger. Um, and so, you know, just continue, continue to work. Keep the dream alive. Don't listen to the doubters, don't listen to the haters, be confident in yourself and just do everything to the fullest, 100%. Actually, you know what, 110%, do everything 110%. Um, never leave room for doubt and never have any regrets. Make sure you leave that field um, that with no regrets, you know, put everything out there um, so that when you leave it, you can say, you know, I gave them all. Awesome. Very well said. Um, I think that was all the questions I had for you. Was there anything I left out, didn't touch on, that you maybe wanted to add on that I didn't ask you about? No, that's good. All right, cool. Well, hey, man, a big congratulations to you from all of us here in San Diego. Uh, looking forward to following your career and uh, really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, good luck to you, bro. Bye. See ya.